Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a haul and it is as the what? It is a Mac unboxing haul. This is not a Mac box, it's just a regular box, but this is the box that came in. So we're gonna unbox this box which has Mac stuff in it. That couldn't have been a longer intro, like with a couple of words in it if I tried. So let's open this bad boy. About about two or three weeks ago. I did a little orderu and it came this morning so I thought I would film it so that I can put everything away. I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed. My makeup desk at the moment is like a mess. Like there's stuff everywhere and I just need to clean it. So that's what I think I'm going to do after this video. But let's get into this video. So usually when I do like my MAC orders I'll get like things that I need like foundation and mascara and stuff like that but I got some really fun stuff in this one so oh my god <laughs> okay so the first thing I'm gonna pull out is just this one here I get this with pretty much every matte water that I do and it's just some um, brush cleaner I've shown this in videos before but yeah this is the brush cleaner that I really really love so I always tend to like get one when I do water. water um, so yeah, that is just the boring one out of the way, brush cleaner. Um, but it is just super good because sometimes I just can't be bothered cleaning my makeup brushes. Like going into the bathroom and getting them all, like using up all my hot water to clean them all. So I'll just quickly spot clean them. They do need a good old um, proper clean though right now. Um, the next thing I have is a cleanser. And I'm actually really excited to try this. I haven't tried this one before. I've tried the old um, cleanser. This is the MAC Lightful C C... Yeah, MAC Lightful C, C Plus Coral, Gla Coral Grass Cleanser. I've tried the old Lightful C one that didn't have the Coral Gla Grass in it, but I haven't tried this one, so I'm excited to try this out. This is what it looks like here. It's like a foaming cleanser, so yeah, I'll probably let you guys know how that goes once I've tried it out. I'm currently using a cleanser at the moment, so I'm not going to be using that one. So many trucks, so many cars, so many motorbikes going by. The next thing I have is just some Studio Fix Foundation Powder and this is um, my go-to This is my go-to foundation at the moment. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of uh, powder foundations Although I did try this out today for the first time and I love it. It's really good um, I haven't liked a liquid foundation like that in a long time, but yeah Studio Fix is my everyday foundation either that or mineralized in summer, mineralized would be like my go-to powder foundation, but when it tends to go towards autumn to winter, I go for Studio Fix. I don't know what it is, just something changes in my skin and it prefers a different powder. So yeah, we have that one and mine is in the shade NC30. I'm currently using one at the moment, so I'm going to keep that one in its little box and save that for when I need it. And then I also got my winter shade of um, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish as well because I'm completely out of my um, winter shade, which is medium plus. I've got medium golden at the moment, but it's just a little bit too like golden for me to use as a foundation, like build it up on my skin. So I just got another one of the um, medium pluses. But I got some blushes. I got two of the mineralized blushes. I wanted these ones for ages, but I always just forget about them. So the first one I got is this one here, and this is New Romance. These are like old school faves. Like a lot of people love these ones. So I got um, New Romance, which is that one there. It's like a peachy pinky shade, um, and it is super pretty. So I'm sure I'll get a lot of use out of that. I kind of want to try that on now. Or do we want to try the other one? We'll have a look at the other one first and then we'll put one on. And then I also got another one and this one's called Petal Power. I'm obsessed with this one. It is so pretty. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It is stunning. It's like a kind of like a hot pink with a gold through it except it's more of like a neutral hot pink. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's got like a really pretty gold reflect through it and it's like a more, it's a lot deeper pink than new romance but yeah that one there i'm excited to try that out i haven't used petal power in so long um but let's try a little bit of the new romance on right now i've got like a nudie blush on at the moment but we'll just pop a little bit over this 
look at the sheen that it gives this is what i love about the mineralized blushes they give just like a beautiful sheen to the skin so stunning love that i got two lip liners i wish i got another one because i've recently fallen in love with another one um i love oak at the moment i've only recently kind of discovered it well i haven't discovered it but i've been trying it out and i absolutely love it um so i'm gonna i didn't get it but i got two other nudes um because i'm all about nude lip liners but the first one i got is boldly bare which is this little one here this is like a really good um lip liner to go with velvet teddy even though i don't have velvet T sorry i say velvet teddy really weird is because people always think i'm saying titty for some reason and yeah it just so i've just gotten used to saying like teddy with a slight english accent now because that way people actually understand what i'm saying what i'm saying and they don't think i'm saying teddy or titty so yeah that sorry velvet teddy this one goes really well with velvet teddy lipstick um i don't actually have velvet teddy lipstick but i love the lip liner so that one is boldly bare and then i also got um spice i can't believe i don't have spice actually let me double check I don't have spice. I'm generally like shocked that I don't actually have this. Um, but I decided to get this one as well because it's like a really nice dark nude. Like it's quite, it's more like brown than boldly bare and it's definitely quite a bit darker. So that's it there. Um, but I can't believe I don't have this. I'm glad I have this now. I'm glad I have both of these now. Next lip liner I need is Oak though. All right, and I got a paint pot as well. I got groundwork. So um, groundwork is just like a really nice sort of beige, what do you call it? Like a brown beige nude sort of color, but deeper. I really like painterly and soft ochre, which is what I've got at the moment. And then I've got a few like other sparkly ones as well. Um, but I wanted something that I could wear like on its own with a bit of mascara um, and it would be good to go. And groundwork is the perfect one for that, so picked that up too. Should we swatch that as well? That is the colour over there. It's just a really nice um, sort of medium tone brown. Just nice for like a quick and easy like natural smoky eye. Alright and then I got these. I'm so excited about you guys. Yay! So I got three of these and these are the Dazzle Shadow Liquids. So they're kind of like the Stella. Go away with your big bike. Um, but yeah, I got three of these and I'm just so excited to try them. They're like a, like the Stella ones, the Stella Liquid Eyeshadows. Um, super metallic, but yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. It's got a glittery lid, which was kind of cool. I have never even seen these in real life yet. I've seen them online, um, but not like in person. So I'm so excited to try these out. So the first one I have is called Diamond Crumbles and it's like a, what is it like? It's like a little mermaid color, really. Like a unicorn mermaid color. So let's give this one a swatch. Oh, it's like a little lip gloss applicator. Oh, yes that is the color of it there that is so pretty oh my gosh look how nice that is and then the next one i got is called beam time let's open that one yeah beam time which is this sort of color here like a bronzy shade oh that one's so, actually that's more of like a rose gold color holy crap that's beautiful oh that is so pretty too it's like a beautiful rose gold shade these are going to be so nice to do cut creases with and then the last one that we have is called flash and dash and this one's more like a glitter yeah like a full-on glitter Look how pretty is that oh we have to do some great looks with these Yeah, so this one's kind of similar to the first one. The first one was more like a glitter, whereas the other one's like a metallic sort of eyeshadowy finish. These ones here are definitely more of like a glitter. Yeah, that one's like a gold and silver glitter mixed together. Oh, they are just 
gorgeous. I'm so excited to play around with those. And then I also got another Dazzle product. And how cool is this packaging? It's so glittery. Um, this is one of the Dazzle highlighters. These, again, I haven't seen in real life. I've seen them online and they look so nice. So I thought I would grab one and get it out of the container. This is what the packaging looks like. I really like the packaging with the gold um, writing on it. That's super pretty. And this is what it looks like here. Oh, that's really cute. It's definitely more of like a glitter highlighter than like, look how pretty that is. We'll just give this a swatch too. Why not? I can't tell. Is that an overspray or is it? I don't think it is an overspray. All right. So that is like a chunky glitter highlighter really i'm interested to see how that works when it goes on the face like sometimes a chunkier highlighter can look a little bit too much so yeah we'll have to have a play with that one and see what it looks like this one is in the color dazzle pink i think there's a gold one as well which kind of reminded me of the fenty um trophy wife um highlighter and i don't wear that very often because it is so gold i love that i have it in my collection but yeah i didn't think i needed another really really gold one so i just got that one but it is really pretty as well and then the last things i got are three sets of lashes i've been all about lashes recently i've been using lashes a lot in my um makeup looks and i kind of like it i feel like they're tying my looks together um i never used to be a fan of um eyelashes as you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, I just didn't use them for ages. Um, and yeah, I've been trying some out recently. I'm just loving lashes. So I ordered some MAC ones as well. So I got two of them are pretty dramatic. They didn't look that dramatic on the site, but oh well. Um, this one here is the number 43s, and this is what they look like here. I'm going to really like these. I think I've actually used these ones before. I like them because they're a shorter lash. I have quite a small lid space, so when I have long eyelashes on, they completely go like above and beyond my eyebrows, and yeah, just a bit too dramatic for me. So I like that these are a shorter length, which is nice. And then the next two I have, so I've got this one here. These are the number 35s. These look beautiful as well, but again, they are like really, really long, and they are probably going to go above and beyond my eyebrows, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll find a fun look to use these for. And then these ones here as well. These ones look like they'd just be quite wispy. They're still like the longer length, but I feel like these wouldn't go too above and beyond, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, they're just like very wispy and like chunky, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I'm excited to try those lashes out too. But yeah, that brings us to the end of this haul. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these products and what you thought of them. I'm excited to try these. These are so cute. And I'm also excited to try like the highlighter and the cleanser love me some skincare but yeah anyway that brings us to the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching comment request subscribe and like and i'll see you all in my next video bye